Eric Roberts, a well-known actor of his time, stands out for his ability to play different roles in many types of movies. He's unique in the industry because he can convincingly become various characters with real emotions. Whether he's playing a bad guy or a good guy, he always gives performances that grab the audience's attention. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience with this great actor? Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about him in this video. We'll be revealing some funny, surprising, and sad details. Keep watching for more insights. In the world of film, Eric Roberts is a standout figure. His journey through acting is fascinating. He has made a lasting impression on the industry, showing his skill as an actor. His talent shines through his performances, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood. His career spans many years, with lots of different roles in various types of movies. He has played characters with depth and detail, captivating audiences with his presence on screen. From serious dramas to action-packed thrillers, he has shown he can do it all. One of his most famous roles was in the movie Runaway Train, where he gave a great performance that critics loved. His ability to play complicated characters with truthfulness has made him an important part of movie history. Besides his acting, his commitment to his work is impressive. He's always trying new things and taking on challenging roles that show how versatile he is as an actor. Audiences and other actors really value what he's done for movies. In summary, Eric Roberts has had a big impact on the film industry. His talent, hard work, and versatility have made him a respected actor, leaving a lasting impression that will inspire actors for years to come. In June 4, 1981, while driving in Connecticut with his then-girlfriend Sandy Dennis's German Shepherd, he crashed his Jeep into a tree. The dog escaped injury, but he spent 72 hours in a coma and was hospitalized for over a month. Consequently, he had to leave the Broadway show Mass Appeal. In The Specialist, he portrayed Tomas Leon, who was meant to have killed Sharon Stone's character's parents when she was young. Although Doctor Who the movie didn't succeed in reviving the series, his portrayal of the Master made history. He's the only non-British and Oscar-nominated actor to play the Master. Additionally, he's the sole actor to portray a villain in both Batman and Doctor Who franchises. Eric Roberts, recognized for his role as Buck in Runaway Train, is the stepfather of Keaton Simons and Morgan Simons. In the movie, he played the character Buck. Notably, this film marked his only performance nominated for an Oscar. Apart from his part in Runaway Train, he appeared alongside John Voight in Most Wanted in 1997. Their work together in these two films showed their chemistry on screen. Beyond his family ties and acting career, Eric Roberts is especially known for his portrayal of Buck, a role that earned him an Oscar nomination. This performance is a standout moment in his long career. In short, Eric Roberts, the stepfather of Keaton Simons and Morgan Simons, gave a memorable performance as Buck in Runaway Train, which remains his sole Oscar-nominated role. His collaboration with John Voight in Most Wanted adds another dimension to his varied acting career. He, a well-known actor, faced struggles with substance abuse and addiction. Despite his talent, fame, and success in the entertainment industry, he found himself battling these demons. Substance abuse can affect anyone, regardless of their status or achievements. For him, the pressures of Hollywood and the demanding lifestyle contributed to his downward spiral. He struggled with addiction to various substances, including drugs and alcohol, which impacted his career and personal life. Addiction is a relentless cycle that can consume a person's life, leading to health problems, strained relationships, and professional setbacks. His battle with addiction led to periods of instability and turmoil. However, he didn't let his struggles define him entirely. With determination and support, he sought help and entered rehabilitation programs to overcome his addiction. Recovery is an ongoing journey, and he continues to work on maintaining his sobriety and rebuilding his life. Through his experiences, he has become an advocate for addiction awareness and support. He uses his platform to raise awareness about the challenges of addiction and the importance of seeking help. His story serves as a reminder that addiction can affect anyone and that recovery is possible with dedication and support. In addition to his struggles with substance abuse, he has faced other challenges in life like personal and professional setbacks. However, he remains resilient, continuing to pursue his passion for acting while also prioritizing his health and well-being. Eric Roberts, a seasoned actor, has had a remarkable career spanning across 17 countries. 
Notably, he's related to Tony Gillen and Daniel Motter, being their brother-in-law. His journey into acting started when he was a kid, inspired by Robert Donat's role in Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Since then, he's become a big name in entertainment. He's known for smoothly shifting between roles, impressing audiences on both the big screen and TV. Throughout his career, he's played various characters, each rich with depth and detail, showcasing his incredible talent. Aside from acting, he's also dabbled in directing and producing, further establishing his influence in the industry. He's passionate about storytelling, evident in every project he takes on, earning him praise from audiences and peers. Despite his fame, he stays down to earth, often crediting his success to hard work, persistence, and the support of his loved ones. His story is inspiring to aspiring actors and filmmakers worldwide, showing the power of talent and determination. In short, Eric Roberts has made a significant impact on entertainment, leaving a lasting impression on audiences everywhere. His journey exemplifies the power of storytelling and pursuing one's dreams. Eric Roberts is well known for his ability to play many different roles in movies and TV shows. In The Killer's Mr. Brightside music video, he played the bad guy and showed how good he is at acting. He got a lot of praise for his role as Buck in Runaway Train. Even though he and John Voight were both nominated for Oscars in 1986 for their acting, they didn't win. In The Specialist, he played Tomas Leon and did a great job alongside famous actors like Sylvester Stallone, Sharon Stone, James Woods, and Rod Steiger, who won an Oscar. Eric Roberts keeps impressing people with his acting skills in every role he takes on. His ability to become different characters and make them seem real shows how talented he is as an actor. This was after gaining fame for his role in the King of the Gypsies movie in the late 70s, Eric Roberts became close friends with wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin, which was surprising but lasted a long time. However, he faced a tough situation in the 80s when he got into a car accident, which permanently injured his left ring finger. Despite this, he didn't give up on his dream of acting. He showed strong determination and kept going. Despite the challenges, he made a big impact on the entertainment world with his talent and perseverance. He became an inspiration for many who wanted to be actors. His story shows how important it is to keep going even when things are hard. This tribute is written in honor of his journey and his lasting impact on cinema. In The Specialist, Tomas Leon, played by Eric Roberts, is a character with interesting depth. It's worth noting that he shares a birthday, April 18, with James Woods, which adds a cool connection between these two talented actors. His family background comes from England, Germany, Sweden, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, which adds layers to his character both on and off screen. In another important role, he played Buck in Runaway Train, showing how versatile he is as an actor. This movie got nominated for three Academy Awards, including one for Best Editing, and got recognized for great performances by John Voight and Eric Roberts himself. Despite all the praise, the film didn't win any awards at the big ceremony. Throughout his career, Eric Roberts has shown that he can play many different kinds of characters really well. Whether he's a sneaky bad guy or a likable hero, his acting always leaves a strong impression on people all over the world. Eric Roberts, the actor, has a famous Hollywood family. His sister is Julia Roberts, who has kids named Hazel Motter, Finn Motter, and Henry Motter. In his career, he appeared in three movies with Mickey Rourke, The Pope of Greenwich Village, Spun, and The Expendables. However, they didn't share scenes in the last one. In 2009, he landed a role in Royal Kill thanks to a suggestion from Ranjan C.H. Iber, a wrestling choreographer and big fan of Doctor Who. C.H. Hibber liked his performance in Doctor Who the movie and recommended him to the director. That's the scoop on Eric Roberts' family ties and some notable collaborations. Known for his acting talent, Eric Roberts had a rocky relationship with his stepson, Keaton Simons, spanning 16 years after a heated argument. Their feud lasted until 2010 when he sought help on celebrity rehab with Dr. Drew, bravely confronting his struggles with marijuana addiction. This was a crucial moment, not just for him, but also for their relationship. Through this televised journey, he started to heal the gap between him and Keaton. His marriage to Eliza Garrett, daughter of respected individuals David Rayfield and Leela Garrett, added depth to his personal story. Despite facing challenges, Eric found comfort in Eliza's constant support, navigating fame and family together. In December 2020, a new chapter began as Eric became a grandfather for the first time. 
His daughter, Emma, welcomed a son named Rhodes Robert Hedlund, a joyful moment sealing generational bonds. Eric Roberts' journey, filled with ups and downs, shows how people can bounce back from tough times and reconcile. His story reminds us of our own potential for growth and forgiveness. Eric Roberts, a graduate of the AADA's class of 1977, began his successful career in the entertainment industry with notable roles in soap operas like Another World and How to Survive a Marriage. Beyond his achievements in acting, he's known for his passionate advocacy as a vegan and animal rights activist. Throughout his journey, he's spoken up for various causes dear to his heart, promoting compassion towards animals and ethical living. Using his platform, he has worked to raise awareness about the importance of conscious consumption and the effects of dietary choices on the planet. He actively supports organizations and initiatives dedicated to animal protection and environmental conservation going beyond just words. His influence goes beyond the screen, inspiring others to join him in making a positive difference in the world. Through actions and advocacy, Eric continues to make a lasting contribution, using his platform for meaningful change in addition to his roles on screen. Eric Roberts experienced fatherhood for the first time when his girlfriend Kelly Cunningham gave birth to their daughter Emma Rose, known as Emma Roberts, on February 10, 1991. In 2013, he earned a nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the Action on Film International Film Festival for his role in the movie Abstraction. Interestingly, he collaborated with his sister Julia Roberts in just one film, Blood Red, released in 1989. This marked a unique moment in their careers, showcasing their talent on screen together. The dynamic between him and Julia brought a special chemistry to the film, highlighting their shared acting skills and familial connection. It's not often that siblings get to work alongside each other in such a capacity, but their collaboration left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. The on-screen chemistry between them added depth to their performances, elevating the film to a new level of authenticity. Their work together in Blood Red remains a standout moment in both of their careers, demonstrating their ability to captivate audiences when they join forces. This unique collaboration between siblings showcased their versatility as actors and left a lasting impact on cinema history. From 1980 to 1985, he lived with Sandy Dennis. He portrayed Buck in Runaway Train. During filming, Danny Trejo, who was initially an extra, caught the eye of director Andrei Kontolovsky. Recognized by Edward Bunker from their time in San Quentin State Prison, Trejo was offered a coaching job for Eric Roberts' boxing scenes. Trejo later landed a role in the film and was surprised to learn that his coaching gig paid more than any previous job, including his criminal endeavors. Notably, he is the only actor to have played a villain in both the Batman and Doctor Who franchises. In the film Runaway Train, Eric Roberts played the role of Buck, filling in for Tom Berenger, who had to leave for Platoon. Despite being considered for a Razzie Award for Worst Supporting Actor in DOA Dead or Alive, he didn't get a nomination. In The Specialist, a scene where Tomas threatens Ray with a knife was added last minute by Sylvester Stallone so he could share a scene with Eric Roberts. Sixteen years later, Stallone and Roberts reunited in The Expendables. Their on-screen chemistry captivated audiences once again, making their partnership in action-packed films stand out. The smooth connection between them added depth to the storyline, pulling viewers into the heart of the action. Stallone's decision to include Roberts in crucial scenes shows the trust and respect he holds for his fellow actor, confirming their status as cinematic icons. This dynamic duo continues to make a big impact on the action genre, proving that their talents stand the test of time. Their collaboration shows the power of lasting friendships in Hollywood, enriching movies with each project they take on. Through their shared journey in the world of cinema, Stallone and Roberts have left a memorable impression that will keep inspiring generations of moviegoers. Growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, Eric Roberts discovered his love for acting early on. Despite facing challenges, he decided to stop drinking alcohol in 1995, which was a big turning point for him. Janet Tamaro, who created Rizzoli and Isles, wanted Eric for a role, but he said no. This allowed Bruce McGill to take the part and leave a lasting impression on the show. Throughout his career, Eric has shown his talent by playing many different roles. Even though he's not closely associated with Rizzoli and Isles, his choices have still had a big effect on the entertainment industry. Looking back, Eric's journey from high school to Hollywood has been full of growth and tough decisions. Each choice he made has helped shape his career. 
This is the story of someone who faced challenges in showbiz with determination Eric Roberts, a name that goes beyond the characters he plays on screen. Eric Roberts, known for his roles in film and television, has a few interesting connections in the entertainment industry. Notably, some of his boxing moves were once choreographed by actor Danny Trejo. Additionally, he appeared alongside actor Clarence Williams III in the Ja Rule music video Down Ass Chick. In the film Runaway Train, he portrayed the character Buck. The cast billing for the movie was John Voight I, Eric Roberts II, and Rebecca De Mornay III. These connections shed light on the collaborative nature of the entertainment world, where actors often work together across various projects. Eric Roberts played Buck in Runaway Train, which was one of his famous movies in the mid-80s. He also starred in The Coca-Cola Kid around the same time. Besides acting, he tried out martial arts, learning taekwondo and jiu-jitsu for a while. In 1996, he appeared in Doctor Who the movie as the master, a role that had been played by different actors before. After him, Derek Jacoby, John Sim, and Michelle Gomez took on the role in the 2005 series. His different roles show how talented actors can become well-known for the characters they play on screen. In the film Runaway Train, he played the character Buck. Before filming, he worked hard to gain 30 pounds of muscle for the role. Growing up in a Mississippi neighborhood full of former inmates, he found it easy to connect with Buck's struggles. He dedicated himself to understanding the character deeply. He is also the older sibling of Julia Roberts and Lisa Roberts Gillen, who are well known in the entertainment industry. His performance as Buck received high praise from critics, showcasing his talent and dedication. His commitment to acting has earned him respect in Hollywood. This text was, Eric Roberts, known for his role in Dolph Lundgren's command performance, was set to co-star in the action film. Beyond his acting career, he holds a black belt in Taekwondo and is skilled in Shotokan Karate, Kyokushin Karate, Hapkido, and Shaolin Kung Fu. In 2015, he portrayed a cop in the music video for Rihanna's Be Better Have My Money. This showcased his versatility as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between film and music projects. Robert's martial arts expertise, including Taekwondo, Shotokan Karate, Kyokushin Karate, Hapkido, and Shaolin Kung Fu, adds depth to his skill set, reflecting his commitment to diverse roles. His involvement in the music video demonstrates his ability to bring authenticity to different genres. In summary, Eric Roberts, a seasoned actor with martial arts proficiency, has left an imprint in both action films and music videos, showcasing his adaptability in the entertainment industry. Did you know that despite his successful acting career, Eric Roberts faced financial troubles and filed for bankruptcy in 1996? It surprised many people, given his fame in the entertainment world. Originally from Biloxi, Mississippi, Eric Roberts grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. He started acting in the late 1970s, appearing on TV and in movies. One of his standout roles was in the movie Runaway Train in 1985, which got him nominated for an Academy Award. He's known for taking on all kinds of roles, from serious dramas to action-packed films to funny comedies. But he's also had personal struggles like fighting addiction, which sometimes affected his career. Despite facing challenges, he's kept working steadily in Hollywood, showing his dedication to acting. Recently, he's been busy with both big movies and smaller projects. Eric Roberts' determination to keep going, even when things get tough, shows how much he loves acting. Besides acting, he's also the older brother of Julia Roberts, and they're really close. Overall, Eric Roberts is still respected in showbiz, admired for his talent, and his ability to keep pushing forward. Despite his extensive work in films and undeniable talent, Eric Roberts faced financial difficulties in the late 1980s, which had a lasting impact on his career. Despite his success, he encountered unexpected financial problems that led to him filing for bankruptcy. During this tough time, he faced significant challenges beyond the glitz of Hollywood. This surprised many of his fans and showed how unpredictable the entertainment industry can be. It reminds us that even successful actors like him can struggle financially. This part of his life highlights the harsh realities behind the scenes, showing the financial uncertainties that can affect well-known figures in showbiz. It demonstrates how success in Hollywood doesn't always mean financial stability. In essence, Eric Roberts' story is a powerful example of resilience in the face of challenges. It reminds us that success in the entertainment industry doesn't guarantee financial security. His experience serves as a lesson for anyone navigating fame and finances in Hollywood. 
In the history of Hollywood, Eric Roberts' bankruptcy is a significant lesson about the ups and downs of success and the importance of being financially prepared. It reminds us that behind the glamour, the reality can be unpredictable. In conclusion, Eric Roberts' journey from fame to financial struggles teaches us about the fragility of success in entertainment and the importance of resilience. It's a story that goes beyond one individual, reflecting the broader theme of financial uncertainty in Hollywood. This revelation about him reminds us that fame doesn't exempt anyone from financial challenges. 